All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right. Now, here's a video that I put together where um, uh, for the last couple of days, I've been watching uh, various uh, frauditors uh, to see if any one of them, if their method of operation has changed from last year. Um, I mentioned it in my last video that uh, the frauditors, all of them, have uh, made threats that they were going to up their game in 2023. So I've been watching uh, to see if, uh, if I've noticed anything different in how they operate. And this particular frauditor who calls himself Good Citizen News, a.k.a. Austin Lewis, I've noticed that he has upped his game. And pretty much his game, uh, for those of you that are familiar with uh, Austin Lewis here, then you know that not only does he uh, go out there and harass law enforcement as well as public employees, but he also showcases uh, a variety of newbie frauditors, okay? Uh, which to me tells me that uh, he is seriously into... Um, causing chaos in this country okay uh, again i'm not trying to sound overly dramatic but there are those frauditors that are pretty much uh making it their job to cause chaos in america okay whether you guys want to see it that way or not regardless in this video uh this is his latest video where he goes to a uh state senator's uh home office uh the state senator is rodney ellis okay now mind you in this video here um i'm going to point out a couple of things because he ends up getting kicked out him and his uh couple of friends uh and the friends, oh my God, we all know them. Uh, they are nothing but trash in my book. Uh, you got Amazing Audits, uh, a.k.a. Jamie, Aaron Bates. And then uh, the next individual, in my opinion, she's a piece of work. She's an old hippie lady uh, with a heart on for, this, uh, for the justice system. So I got to imagine in her younger days, she was rubbed the wrong way by cops. Okay, She goes by the name of Lady Justice Liberty News. Now, mind you, these three individuals, like I said, they go to a state senator's home office and they end up getting kicked out. Okay, But the way they sell it to their subscribers is that they went there with good intentions uh, respectful and um, I'm going to show you the bullshit uh, the shit they say and what they do are two different things let's jump into the video hey guys I hope y'all are having a great day today so in this video we went to the Harris County Precinct 1 Central Service Center and no we were not allowed to get the services we needed at this service center this is Rodney Ellis Rodney Ellis has been in government for over 20 years. He's a career politician. He was a Texas state senator for 26 years. He passed over 700 pieces of legislation while in office, but as you can see, his office staff knows nothing about the law, even though Rodney himself is an attorney or at least went to law school. What you're about to see here is us being very polite and professional to the employees of this building. All right, so just keep in mind what just came out of his mouth, that they were polite and professional. And I will show you their definition of polite and professional, which is a lot different than our definition. And as a result, we get deputies that arrive out of breath and we get thrown out of the building. And as we left, we were followed by several Harris County Sheriff's deputies. Remember to like... Oh, we're just going to take some video and pictures in here, and then we'll be over in a second. Miss Rowley, sir? No, not Mary. He's just the You want some water? I got some water here. Let me get myself some water. What's upstairs? What? Oh, okay. There's a public hallway up there? Yeah. There's a public elevator, right? Well, we'll see. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is public because uh, there's no like keypad or something. Well, like it, could be in, it could be key card. Key carded. Inside, okay. Inside okay. the elevator. You're right, I know that. Yeah, you're going to push the top blue button. Blue button. 
Let's see. No, it's not key card. Okay. We'll wait for Lady Justice to get in here, make sure it stays open. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Let's go to her. She told us we could go upstairs. I love it when they tell me we can't go somewhere and we go somewhere. All right, so take note what Amazing Orders just told Good Citizen News, that the receptionist stated they were not allowed to go upstairs. And we all just heard what came out of uh, Good Citizen News' mouth. He loves it when they're told that they can't go somewhere, and they still go, okay? And then they flip it to their subscribers that they were kicked out for no reason, that they were following the rules. Yeah, we got food downstairs. There's a table. There's beautiful pictures on the walls. Mike Chad. Mike Chad. We do have the Mike Chad. Look at some of this art, guys. Where does this go? That's where we were at down there. Is it? I didn't. I didn't see anywhere. I thought it said elevator. I didn't see a stairwell. There was. Oh, I guess there was a stairwell. I just didn't see it. You can't go upstairs with the public elevator. What a crock of shit. <laughs> well, I guess these are public seats too. Ooh. Oh, that copy. Oh yeah, and this must be stuff for the public to look at. All right, let's let's make sure this is restricted. Yep, it is restricted. Look at all these news articles, guys. This is Precinct 1. This is the commissioner that run that runs Precinct 1. So where we were at yesterday, we were in Precinct 1 um, for the constables, for the Harris County constables. So that constable wouldn't be beholden to him, or that, that the constables wouldn't be beholden to the Precinct 1 commissioner, but he damn sure has some pull and say, hey, you can't be doing that crap. Okay. So... That would be something if y'all wanted to come back for us do a public meeting at the commissioner's court. Hey, who are y'all? Oh, we're just taking some video. For the precinct? Oh, no, for ourselves. For ourselves. Okay. Who are you? Uh, I work for the inner office here. Oh, but you just asked us our name. I didn't yeah. expect us to tell you. I, I didn't ask you your name. You just said who are we? You just asked who we were. Uh, we asked who are you. I, I'm David Ellison, but I'm You're actually David. here. I do media to see what y'all are. Uh, uh, so you're the commissioner? Huh? You're the commissioner? No. I'm oh, okay. I thought, I thought the commissioner's name was Ellis, too. I'm Ellis' son. Oh, you're Ellis's son. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Ellison. Ellis. Okay. I misunderstood. Man, masks make it hard to hear people sometimes. Yeah, I was like, David Ellis. I was like, wait a second here. Yeah. That was a good catch, though, guys. That was nice. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Have a great day, sir. Why would they care? I never I mean, it's not like we can go anywhere. Why do they care so much? Oh, oh, she just told she the lady that went around the corner caught a glimpse of me filming and she told him and he just stopped and looked at me for a minute and then continued walking. Uh, People are cameras are very stunning. You know, I don't I don't see why. It's just a camera. I mean they got one out there's one right there. There's another one right there. Is there one in here? I don't see woo. Oh, they don't want to catch the corruption that's going on in here, bro. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, it's a beautiful building up here. It's nice to get some AC and chill out. And so, hi. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Pretty good. Can I help you? Oh, we're just getting the video of the comings and goings out of their office here. Okay. Um, it is this an appointment? No, no. no we're just, just what it was. we're just sitting here getting the comings and goings out of the office. He just said what it was. Yeah, we're just gathering some intelligence. Like refusing to hear him. All right, so I'm sure we all heard what came out of his mouth about they're just there gathering intelligence, which basically that's exactly what they're doing, okay? And um, I think there's a lot to that uh, 
that comment. Believe it or not, I I know some of you may think I've been watching too many conspiracy uh, shows or whatsoever, but uh, these guys have a hidden agenda, and um, it'll come out eventually. It'll come out. But again, if you uh, prior to that comment that he made, uh, you hear them back and forth commenting that uh, uh, they don't like uh, the people there don't like the ideal about them being there because they're recording, and again. The shit doesn't have nothing to do with them recording. What ends up, uh, why they get kicked out is because they, they're in a location of uh, that building there that um, is not open to the public, let's say. Okay? Uh, the receptionist told them they were not allowed to go upstairs, but they still went up there. So, do you guys notice that every time they uh, have a confrontation, they try to blame it on the camera? Oh, they kicked us out because we were recording or we got arrested because we were recording but they they fail they fail to t I mean damn it the subscribers are seeing the same thing we're seeing why they can um unravel it and see the truth they're not getting kicked out because of the recording they're getting kicked out because they're in a location that they don't belong to they're getting arrested because they did something stupid nothing to do with the camera but that's how they flip it and the subscribers again uh they're so stupid and far up their asses they believe it and they go along with it you're like refusing to hear him he just told you oh no that's oh, yeah. fine I, I i heard him i was just was hoping that you guys had some help or something oh no no we haven't had any help you yet. can't we don't help us yet. with yeah. this unless you want to parade everybody in and out of this door yeah i mean <laughs> Yeah, we want to talk good everybody. We'll ask them all their names. That would be super. It'd be yeah. a way to build positive relations in the yeah. community. Y'all have a great day. You too, I will, I will see if I can get someone that says you, if it's possible. Oh, Thank can we get you. your name, please? My name? Pretty, please. Yeah. Oh, I'm Nicolette. Thank you, Nicolette. Nicolette. Thank you so much. You have a great day. beautiful name, ma'am. Thank you. Thank that you. is a beautiful name. Yeah, Nicolette. Oh, I think they did next to the one. They probably did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, we've got people scared of the camera here. Oh, they just took off. They just took off funny. running. To get in there, they have to look in that camera. Yeah, it's funny, right? <laughs> People like running. I mean, to get in the room, you gotta look in the camera. That sounds like hell. I'll take the charge. I'll take weed. Hey, folks. How's it going? Hi, I'm Sergeant Anderson from the Sheriff's Office. Cool. Uh, do you have an appointment to be here? Do we need an appointment to be here? Yes, you do. To be in this building? Yes. Why? We walked right in there. Because you have a security gate. And it works, anytime there's a security gate, you have to get permission to go in that facility. This deputy is full of crap. Obviously, we entered through the front door. And no, we did not go into the security gate area that's locked and restricted from the public. This is the problem when deputies lie and do not understand the law, because in Texas state law, trespassing only applies to private property, not public property. All right. So as a, a normal frauders like to make up their own rules, their own laws. And I tried to Google the information on that location to see if it was open to the public, but I could not get anything uh, stating if it was appointments only open to the public and so on. OK, now maybe the officer did add a little more to it. Uh, maybe, okay, because I did notice the door was open. They didn't have to be buzzed in. But again, I say that wasn't, um, that doesn't necessarily mean because the door is open that it's open to the public, okay? Now, mind you, uh, in my opinion, uh, the problem started the minute he walked into that elevator. Once he walked into that elevator, and according to Amazing Audits, they were told that they were not allowed to go upstairs, that to me is where the problem started now again uh yeah, the way he is telling his subscribers that uh, uh the officers there are, is violating his rights and they don't know shit that they're not allowed to uh or should i say uh uh 
um, I don't know, law in Texas uh, can be different. Uh, uh, you can be trespassed. I think we all know this by now, damn it. Uh, you can be trespassed from public. There's case law disputing what he is. Uh, he's under the impression you cannot be trespassed from public property. And there's case law disputing that. But that's something that I think we're all going to, because you can't win with these guys. Uh, they just don't want to, you could tell them, you could have that, that, that specific law right there in their face, and they will still come up with something to, uh, uh, to dispute it. It, it just, a fraudulent uh, mentality is way screwed up, big time screwed up. But let's get back to the video. So, oh, sorry, out of breath. So even if, we, so we have They're to get wrong permission wrong. to come into a facility <laughs> when the front door is outside of the security gate? They're wrong. Again? When the front door is outside of the security gate, we have to get permission to come in? Right now, we're going to ask you guys to leave. If we don't leave? Then you'll probably be arrested for criminal trespass. So you're going to try to arrest us for criminal trespass yes. for not leaving this? God dang. Okay, these cops are so dumb in Houston. I yeah. have to take stairs, so. There's no stairs. So, right 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 um, so you're you're making That's an elevator. Hold on, I, I just I want to be clear. I'm so, I'm willing to leave. Tommy Anderson with Harris Sheriff's Office. I, I'm willing to leave. I'm not saying I'm not going to leave, but I'm asking. So we're leaving because there's a security. How did y'all get in here? There's a front door. You walked through that door. Yeah, we came through the front door. Are they saying we came through a different door? Are they saying we came through a different door? You didn't talk to anybody, you just walked in? Yeah, we don't need to talk to anybody. It's a public building. There was building. a lady in the front that asked if what we were doing was, we said, we told them. So we're still being told to leave? Yes. Okay, all right, I'll leave under threat of arrest. Wow, you're a coward, Sergeant. Yeah, thank you. You're absolutely a coward. I can't wait to have your badge. All right, so now this is where his uh, professionalism kicks in. Pay attention to what comes out of his mouth. This is straight up frauditor professionalism. Hey, I want you to read something for me real quick. You know that uh, you know that it's constitutionally protected to film inside of public buildings. Yeah. Did you call the cops? So we're being made to leave from down here too. Yes, sir. We have to leave the entire this building. Is the commissioner's office. Right. Yeah. So why do we have to leave? So it's a public, public building. Make an it's appointment. Public it's workers. Public make an appointment. Public. Okay. Appointment. Well, how about I go make an appointment with your wife, and yeah. I go butt fucker right in front of you? How about okay. that? Yeah. You want to go butt fucker? Like and I go butt fucker right in front of you. How about okay. that? Yeah? You want to go butt fucker? Like she probably would. She's probably have not getting no dick from a left dick little bitch like you. Your wife is that loose? Yeah. <laughs> what a coward, man. I can't wait to fuck your wife in front of you, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make her suck my dick real good, too. Fucking cowards. Cowards! All right, so let's be real here, guys. I'm talking to you men out there. Uh, put yourself in that officer's shoes. You as a police officer doing a job, doing a job now, okay? You come across this particular asshole with the mouth that he has on him. Granted that these guys are under the impression that because uh, uh, they work for the public, they're supposed to just stand there and suck up whatever abuse they give them. God, God only knows uh, how patient that officer had to be because uh, I honestly, me personally, would have lost it and would have been punching that guy in his face. Definitely. Okay. I think all of us uh, men, okay, and, uh, I, I, it was totally disrespectful. Okay. You're not happy because you got kicked out of a location. Why? Because he went into a portion of that building that he was not allowed to. Didn't have shit to do with the recording. A lot had to do with the fact that he was in an area of that building that he was not allowed to be there. Now, according, uh, apparently, uh, uh, even getting kicked out of the lobby, apparently that location is working on appointments only. But you, you got to think about it. This is a grown man talking to another grown man that he's going to butt fuck his wife. And excuse the language, ladies, because uh, uh, very rare that I uh, 
like talking like this, but it pissed me off, you know? This guy has no respect. The man is doing his job. You're not happy with that location, the way uh, they are operating, appointments only or whatever. You know what you got to do and so on, okay? And I could see if the officer was being an asshole with them, then I could probably, I still wouldn't, even being an asshole, I wouldn't go that far to bring his wife into the picture, but... Uh, you know, I would, I would, I could understand some abuse, okay? But this uh, was totally uncalled for. That's my opinion, guys. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh, you left. You can go back in, right? Make an appointment? No. This is Rodney Ellis, the commissioner. He doesn't allow public photography in his building, guys. Rodney Ellis doesn't like public photographers inside his building. This is an elected official. This is a public building.